Hello everyone, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 0.23 and my completely stock run through of career mode and the career mode tech tree. So last time I did a little flyby of the moon, oh, well, an orbit around the moon. Well, I didn't. Bob Kerman did. Bob Kerman did a little orbit around the moon and got us 310 science and bringing us to a total of 338. So let's purchase some more technology. So unlike in the Institute for Kerbal Studies, I am actually purchasing technology as quickly as possible because we are, well, it's a run through, not a walk through. All right. So let's see now. We've got 248 left. These cost 90 a piece. Hmm. What is this? Fuel systems. Oh, fuel lines. Well, that's something we haven't seen in Institute for Kerbal Studies. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to do a run through, trying to get through as quickly as possible, is because I haven't seen some of these parts in career mode at all. I haven't seen fuel lines or struts. I think I just bought struts, didn't I? Yeah, struts. And, and launch clamps. Something else I haven't seen yet in the Institute for Kerbal Studies, so I just wanted to try it out, getting all the technologies. I didn't even know how, what technologies were where in the tech tree, because I've been stuck around here-ish. Okay, but I think certainly batteries and lights are a must. Let's research that. Uh, what's this one? So this is the mobile processing lab, but I don't really need that until we pick up some docking ports so that we can put it on stations. I don't need gear bay and oh that's the rule that I have in this uh, series all missions must be must be manned must have crew and so probe cores don't need them must remember to mention that uh, thinking about it it's not well we need an adapter for uh, once we oh we've got a big fuel tank but we've got nothing to use it on huh Okay, that's... Oh, RCS. RCS looks important. Fuel lines look important. Yeah, I want this one. Okay, uh, we can't buy any more because they're all 90 and we've got 68. So let's go to VAB to see what I can invent next. Well, this seems rather prosaic now that we've got fuel lines and struts and everything. Uh, let's see now. We don't have any 2.5 meter fuel tanks though. But we've got plenty of interesting things. Now, configuring the lander. Still the same top, surely. But with these guys, four of them on the side. Right. Oh, let's go for it. No, let's not. <laughs> It'll get in the way of the goo containers, so... Right. Still sort of impinging on the goo containers there. Let's see. No, it needs to be lower. So, I am intending to show you my build phases in this. Hopefully I can keep talking so it's not too boring for all of you. And now, let's pick out our, our weapons of choice. Um, these little fellows, I haven't gotten to use them. Five of them look like they, that might be a very interesting way to go. Okay. So four of those, and would one of them be enough to boost all this? Hmm. Off of the moon, yeah. Off the moon, we don't need a thrust to weight ratio of one. Okay, so we'll sneak one of those in there too. And the problem is then, okay, obviously we need a decoupler there. No, that doesn't look right at all. Okay, 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 okay. So cancel this sort of notion. And let's adopt this sort of notion. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Where is that? Yes. All right. So, uh, it seems so familiar though. Do I really want to do something so 
So straightforward. Well, I want to keep my Kerbal safe, so let's not do anything too crazy right now. Well, hmm. I need to reevaluate that particular thought. Hmm. Oh, we've got solar panels now. Solar panels are important. Batteries are important. Batteries go there. Solar panels. Let's put one of them there. And another one there. Should be more than enough. I'm not transmitting any data, so... Oh, these aren't in line anymore. Okay, uh... Like that. Oh, this this will be too big. The, the landing struts won't reach the ground. Oh, that's something else we can do in this version, isn't it? Um, start retracted, start extend... Oh, there, look! We can see how long the docking uh, the landing struts are. That's that's good stuff. Okay, so that's that's an important feature now, but that also means that these aren't long enough. So let me try and sneak them onto this a little bit lower. There is uh, the suspension, right? That's why I'm saying it's not long enough. Even though it looked like it was long enough, there's the suspension to consider and it would have made a problem. Okay, this is a somewhat standard version. Should I sneak some reaction wheels? Well, landing is a touchy business. I should have as... Why doesn't it... Okay, uh, reaction wheels, yes. I guess we won't need RCS this time. Have we gotten ladders yet? No, we haven't gotten ladders yet. So we're going to have to do that EVA backup that I always hate to do. Uh, okay. Now with struts, I can add more than just four boosters. Let's add six boosters. Uh, well, actually, that means that they're not going to be in line anymore, all right? Uh, all right, so all the effort I just did to get them all in line was for naught, but whatever. Six boosters is better than four boosters. This is one of those rules. We've got four reaction wheels up there, so we certainly don't need to sneak any more down here. And... Will this be a sufficient lander? Well, fuel lines. We can use fuel lines to help that out. Four fuel lines. Good. Haven't used fuel lines in a while. Not in career mode. Ever. Alright. Looking good. I think we need some struts on this because that's why I said I was able to do four because we have struts. So let's add those struts. No, not like that. No, oh, that I did not want to do. Okay, the magic of control Z. Right, that's that's the way to go. And let's also get some stability across them as well. Perfect. Okay, we've got those six, but uh, if we're going to have fuel feeding into the center one, we might as well have that one stage along with them. And then when those dump, they should not ignite the top four. That would be a bad idea. But is this center one strong enough to boost all of this together? Probably not. Probably it would have a thrust to weight ratio of less than one. Hmm. Maybe I should have those ignite at the same time, but then they'll run out of fuel and we won't have any fuel for the landing. Ha. Huh. Well, first of all, let me uh, sneak some solid fuel boosters at the bottom here. No point. Oh, we've got the big ones, don't we? 
I might have to rethink this design if it ends up in disaster. Okay, slot fuel boost bu boosters. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. That's fine. It looks like a decent rocket. The only issue is whether this uh, center stage is going to be able to hold up. What we need now is stability enhancement. Indeed. Alright, so... Put those up there. This is definitely not Delta anymore. This is Epsilon. Okay, this staging looks not right. Uh, let's see here. Okay, these four fire when that one decouples, so that's there. Right, okay. I think I've got it. This looks like a landerish type thing. Crew. Let's get somebody new. Yeah, let's get somebody new. Let's go to, uh, what is it? called the crew management place yeah let's go over there and of course what I meant was the astronaut complex so here we are in the astronaut complex and we've got uh, Jean Tree Kerman okay Herman Kerman <laughs> oh god okay Lengi Kerman uh, he's very clever but we've got one of those already Bob and and Jean Tree so Gene, I, I, should I pronounce that Gene Tree? Gene Tray? I don't know. Dudger? No, not funny enough. Melzer Kerman? Yes. Burden Kerman? No. Henry Kerman? No. Wildred Kerman? Yes. Okay, there, there's, there's our seven. All right, who should we send out? We should send out. Merman Kerman. <laughs> yep, Merman Kerman. All right. Okay, so here we are with Merman Kerman and a very loosely hanging. Let me make sure everything's all right. Okay, uh, Epsilon rocket. Looks like a decent rocket, but uh, could have issues. Could have issues. Okay, throttling up. Though first stage is solid rocket boosters anyway. And uh, Merman, I hope I hope you're a lucky guy because this could be bad. All right, Epsilon Rocket is a go after the booster stage. We really need these rockets to get pretty close to orbit, at least in space. Because, again, the center rocket, once we've dumped these, doesn't have enough thrust to weight to really get us going very far. Hopefully we'll get into orbit on these, or at least close to it. If not, Merman might not be able to get to the moon. Okay, let's actually start tilting over around here. Oh, I should have strutted between these and those. Between the top and the main body boosters. Well, main body, let's call them outer six. Yeah, because there's a wiggle on that joint there. Well, it's not quite as much as I had hoped. Okay, separation is good, but our, uh, our situation might be a little bit tricky here. Let's see. The key is that the apoapsis time should not be decreasing. Okay, it is increasing, so that's fine. 
that's that's the first most important thing that we are pushing the apoapsis out all right it looks like we'll be good to again to orbit but then really we only have the lander fuel to get to the moon I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, okay, I know that's not a good idea. Ah, that's this is not right. I should have this center engine also staged with those four. Very important. How much is the ISP on these? Well, I won't know until later, I guess. Maybe it's not a good idea to have these after all. I think the ISP on them is too low. Okay, well, our orbit's getting out of hand. I'm being very lackadaisical about the whole circularizing thing. Well, it's not really necessary, it's just very helpful sometimes. It is, of course, important to get the periapsis outside of the atmosphere though, but let's see whether we need to do that or not, because we might, might be able to boost to the moon without that. Well, I mean, not without that, but before we get to... You know what I mean. Uh, I'd like one of those things that we had last time. Yeah, something like that. Uh, free return trajectory. Ah, oh, that's good enough. Yeah. I mean, we could get a Kerbin Periapsis closer, and we might need it, actually, because I'm not too sure this lander has fuel, enough fuel to handle this whole thing. Yeah, let's, let's keep it a little bit tighter. All right. I'm not doing any calculations, folks. I'm just going to try this. I do not know if there's enough Delta V. I have not checked. So... Merman, uh, I'm afraid your name has inspired me to be a little bit less cautious. Okay, here we go. Okay, let me check this. Well, 350 is not bad. 350 is not bad. I'll take two, 350. Center one's 390. Okay, well, there we have it. Good enough for me. And surely, if it's good enough for me, it should be good enough for Merman Kerman. Off we go. Okay. Same thing as usual. Let's just uh, burn at periapsis. Oh, it's in the dark. Well, we can light the place up. Let's just turn around. And... Feel the might of those reaction wheels. Let's get closer. Merman's delighted. Delighted. Okay. Uh, let's not go too far. Okay, around here.
Huh. We're pretty close to orbital velocity already. So, should we just head down? Let's see what sort of places we can visit. Ah, oh, I keep hitting equatorial. I really shouldn't. Should try something more interesting. But uh, I don't think I have enough fuel for any sort of plane changes or anything too fancy, so let's not think about that right now. Let's just get to a biome, any biome, on the moon. Yes, that spot looks reasonably free of obstructions and not too dangerous. Oh, there's that... No, there's one of those dark spots that I think might be something interesting, but... I have not been able to check yet. Okay, gear down. Where's the moon? Okay, there's the moon. We're gonna be coming down pretty hard, aren't we? Merman, don't hate me if this goes very wrong. We do not have much fuel. Uh, you know what? Maybe this is a bad idea. No, no, we're gonna do it. Somewhere around... Where are we? We are about 100,000, 90, 80, 70, 60, or somewhere around here. Let's do some retrograde. Bring the whole thing in a bit, slow down a bit, take it easy. Okay, that is not a lot of fuel. And keep in mind, we have to keep those outer pods, because, well, they've got the landing struts. We are going to have to burn very close to the surface. This doesn't look like the area I wanted. I think I have to burn a little bit higher than that. Okay, uh, let's let's start this. You know what? Maybe it'll be more efficient if I shut off the. Well, let me. Br oh no, let me shut off the. Shut down. Shut down those two. Right. Okay. Okay, well, we're just gonna be on the center engine. Ah, uh, hoo hoo hoo. Well, good thing we don't have any uh, issues about letting Merman take an extended stay here. Uh, so, Merman, you might be needing to hang out around the moon for a while. Looks like you don't seem too worried about that. Alright, well we're on the surface, we've got more than a ton of fuel left, so that may or may not be enough, but I'll have to do, I will have to calculate that one now. But uh, let's observe the material bay. You leave the sample bay doors open on the moon and go do something else for a while. A hundred points for that. Okay. Goo experiment. The goo seems to be less dense here. We are on the Midlands, so I'll have to make note of that. 40 science, or the program will make the note of that for me. I can't do the second GUI experiment here, it'll be worth nothing. So let's have Merman Kerman EVA, that's what he's here to do after all. But he's going to have a rough time getting down. Alright, well, he didn't fall flat on his face, so that's always a plus. Merman, you get to plant the first flag.
Mer wrapped mermen in the Midlands. I wonder how long I'll be be staying here. Question mark. Okay, take the surface sample. The darker midland surface appears to be made up of basaltic rocks. 120 science. Keep that, please. And give me an EV report. You look up and search the sky for Kerbin. Suddenly you feel very small. 32 science. Where is Kerbin? Okay, well, anyway. Uh, crew hatch is there. Let's try and get you back in. This is always fun. Okay. Let's see if uh, sticky keys will uh, interrupt my attempt here. Uh, or if I'll just do that. Uh, no, no. Uh, go back up, 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 up. Give me... No. Nope, oh, there's sticky keys. Okay. No. No, I don't want to turn on sticky keys. And he messed around with the battery pack but didn't seem to actually knock it off. Pluses and minuses to everything. Okay, uh, oh, how much of the... Okay, well, that's not that bad. Uh, oh, 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 don't, oh. Why am I so bad at this? Why, why, why? Because I don't have... I don't have the skills. I don't have the skills. Okay, grab. Okay, board. All right. All right, so now let's do some calculations, shall we? Okay, liquid fuel. A ton of liquid fuel is nine. I mean, it's not really a ton. In the one ton fuel can, there's 90 units of liquid fuel. So 107 divided by 90 means we have 1.18 tons of fuel. The total mass of this is 6.3, but some of that is going to come off. But let's, let's be conservative and say 6.3. Then I do my happy little delta V calculation using the the rocket equation. 6.3 divided by the empty mass, which is 5.1. The ln of that times the rocket's ISP, which is 390, times 9.81 gives us a delta V of 800 being conservative because that's measuring this with these external pods 800 sounds barely enough to get us back these external pods all together I think the external stuff that we're going to drop off probably weighs about 0.5 so let's see what happens if I just calculate without those uh, let me go back to this. Okay, so... Eight seventy. My conclusion is that we can probably get into lunar orbit, but not back to Kerbin. Well, that's sad. So we're not going to get uh, science back of this from this trip right now, Merman. Unless we do things very, very well. I think we should risk it. I don't like leaving things undone in this, uh, not in this series. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to risk Berman's life. Why not? Uh, but we need to do it close to where we can burn directly for Kerbin, which would be around here. All right, uh, let's time warp a bit. Oh, does that not work for me? Is, is the moon actually... Oh, I guess the moon is tidally locked to Kerbin. So I can't really do that. Ha. Didn't think about that. 
Well, if we can't burn directly for Kerbin, then I think we're not going to be able to do this. Merman? I think you're going to be staying there for a while. We are going to mount, eventually, a rescue mission for Merman Kerman. But for now, he is going to have to keep all of his really substantial science on the surface of the moon while we go and do other things and build better rockets so that we can manage a decent rescue mission. Alright, so that's the situation. We will leave him safe and sound on the moon so that, uh, because of course Kerbal safety is our number one priority and we do not dare to get him off of there without being able to bring him back. So next time I think we need to aim for the new biomes of Minmus. I think that's going to be our aim. We'll gather some science there and put that science to good use buying the kinds of parts that will be able to help us save Merman Kerman. Alright, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do press like, and I'll see you next time.